goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. <clears throat> Pretty much. And um, along with that, another person I would put up there, because um, of past events last week, uh, Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. So I'm going to end the good and fuckery with this. Um, they did so good last week, because we're going to talk bro. about it. They did Man, so good last bro. week that the city of Yonkers gave them the key to the city. Thank you for whooping their ass. <clears throat> now, it's, it's not... Well. It's not, it's not just that, you know, they do you know, do a staff, lot of work. They got a juice bar, right. they making parts, right. like they the locks is like the definition of what a rapper should do for the city. Like they nah, they really. stayed in the city or whatever, they provided for their to town. The locks, like they they absolutely deserve all of their flowers. Yeah, like Ooh, for boy. one, I think for one, one we gotta take back. <laughs> <laughs> Take back what we said, man. We thought Dipset was going to win, and for good reason. They got the cat. Like this is my they, thing. You know they could have won because if you think about it, right, the two biggest of uh, the two biggest moments of the night was Dipset Anthem and Benjamin's, and Dipset Anthem was more was rocking harder than Benjamin's. So if mm. they had us, it was their DJ, yo. The DJ ruined mm. their set list. They weren't prepared, and that's pretty much all it was. Locks came um, to give a concert. Dipset came to just chill, and you could tell the difference. <clears throat> the locks came to kill, like they came to kill. You could tell. I, I think it's it's a lot of factors into it. Um, before we get into it, I want to say that this was a hip hop event. This is one of yes. those events yes. that when you look at hip hop documentaries or whatever, and they got all those people from the past or whatever, and say, "Yeah, it was done in the park." And Sedgwick um, Boulevard ah, and stuff like yeah. this. This is yeah, what yeah. happened. Blah, blah, blah. 10, 20 years from now, somebody is going to do a documentary about hip hop. And guess what? Guess what? Who no, they're going to have? They're going to have, they, they, gonna have, they probably going to have Fat Joe or somebody that was in the crowd. Yes, yes. Probably yes. telling you everything about mm -hmm. what's going on. And I did, he did, I, I listened to Fat Joe's, um, uh, coverage of that, that night. shit was funny nigga <clears throat> and he was i don't know if fat joe got like a show coming out but if he don't he needs no nah, he got he, he you know everybody got a podcast now, he's bro. freaking hilarious everybody got a podcast now so he got okay, one so shout out to fat joe man go subscribe to his shit he funny but this this is what this is when i knew like it was key points in the night that made me feel like this is hip-hop history First of all, first of all, this officially is like one of my is is my favorite verses. Mind you, Method Man is my favorite rapper, and he had a verses with Method Man and, well, against Red Man, but I really didn't feel like they were going against each other. I feel like that was just a concert with Method Man and Red Man. But ver this verses right here, I've been watching this all last week, back to back, like. Just because it's like watching that favorite prize fight that you always wanted. First of all, it's in Madison Square Gardens. Yeah. Big yeah. shit happens in Madison Square Gardens. All the big, big fights happen in Square Gardens, pretty much. Secondly, they had Michael Buffer. Yeah, he forgot announcing. to say Cameron name, no. <clears throat> huh? He forgot nah, to say Cam name. That's what happened at first. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's another thing too, or uh, whatever, because Joe Fat Joe was saying that Cameron wasn't even really feeling it that way at like the last minute or whatever. Mm. But it, you know, they took. I think it just like it took forever for them to come out, so that's one thing that added on to it. But when you first get into it, you can ignore that. I was like, all right, they finally out. They finally out. Yeah, you know they. Talking junk, talking greasy to each other. Like, I expect that. What did you say, Nigga, what did you say? <laughs> oh, listen. Nigga, you was robotic as hell. Like, I don't know what the hell you just said to me, but all right. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh shoot. Wait, it sounded robotic? Oh, maybe it's this. Let me try some. But this is it. Let's see if this works. All right, how do I sound now? Normal. Okay. But, all right. Um, but I was saying, you know, in Madison Square Gardens, they got Michael Buffer or whatever. So that's going to lead up to it being a, a, a big night in right, general. Right, whatever. right, right. And then, you know, back and forth, Cam is like, Dude, you know, they're in Manhattan. So it's like, no, we, we're we home, nigga. We're home. Right, you, know, you, go first. you go first. So the like said, for it and go first. And they, and set, they the set the tone. Woo, oh, they set the tone. And I think that's the I think that's the track that they usually start off with anyway. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's and that's the thing. Their their DJ was so on point. Like the G, the DJ knew all the cues. He knew all the signals. He knew all the catchphrases that they he needed to go to send them to the like, next. Oh, level. you going this way? I got it. Oh, you going this you know way? Okay, I got it. Yeah, he was insane. That yeah, was this, the that was the key. Mm -hmm. Like he was, um, how you say, man, not maneuverable, but what's the other word for it? Um, flexible. Flexible. I know it's another word. It's, I think it's, it starts with a B or something like that. But yeah, he's more flexible than the uh, Dipset DJ. I feel like the Dipset DJ, he had, he already had his list of what yeah. he was going to do. And it was, it was like, I'm going to play these songs in this order, and this is what y'all going to do. Yeah. Yep. But it was just, now, mind you, um, the main people promoting this has been Styles and Jim Jones the whole time. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I thought they were going to talk the most, the most trash or whatever. But, man, Jada Kiss had control Jada the whole night. Jada 3-0. Jada is the king of shit talking right now. Jada. J Jada. That nigga was going in. Jada, if y'all don't know about Jada's legend by now, he made it known. He said like, he, he told y'all to find dead or alive, didn't he? And he meant it. And, and, and now that he says it or whatever, like, first of all, when he first said it, it made, it made sense then. Not every rapper okay. can say things like that. Or whatever, and, and you gotta actually think about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. A lot of times, rappers is just saying that because hey, they feel like they're the best or whatever. Right. But right. he got documented proof or whatever. And today, he reminded y'all or whatever. He I checked. Mean that. He said he got time today. He looked at his wrist. He got time today. Check all the boxes. All boxes. All, all boxes checked. We don't 37. even know all the boxes yet. Boxes. We don't we don't know we don't even know all the boxes yet, but we yeah. know that man checked them. I know one box he checked <laughs> the casket and he threw them niggas in it. And mm -hmm. I love dipset. We were literally dipset fanatics for a minute. Like that was the we group. said we we're going they were gonna win. Boy. Not that and we weren't the only one. A it lot of people go did. that way though. It did a lot of people go did. that way. In but the words the of back Marlo of my from head. the wire, you want it to be <clears> one way, but it ain't that way. It's the other in the way. Back, in the back of my head, though, I would say it is the locks, though. It's yeah. the locks. They got it. They are, they are strong. The that was a good match. The difference what you came say? in the performance. The, the whole yeah. difference was the performance. Exactly. We all know Dipset got the catalog. As she said, the Dipset got, Dipset got the catalog. But it came down to the performance and the stage presence that the locks had. Somebody said it before. I forgot who said it. But the difference between the locks and dipset is the locks is a group, and dipset is a crew of individuals. You feel me? Oh, that was on, I think so, that was on Math the, Hopper the, Jump, the uh, dude arsonist. So, uh, yep. the, a crew has uh, a crew, they got chemistry, but they don't have that same chemistry as a group. Has, yeah. Because a group needs to come together and mesh. A crew yeah. needs to come together and do a few things here and there, but they are individuals on their own at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. The locks. Fact. The locks, you feel me? Like, yeah, they be hanging out with each other's family. Album. They be going to each other's house all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. House and shit. Individual member albums. Uh, yeah. They, I was like, piggyback off of what Faith said, I was I was going to bring that up, too. Like, they, they're, like, 
family the way the locks carried themselves or whatever. Like Dipset, you could tell they just got cool. You know, they've had their riffs over the years or what or, or whatever. Yep. And it seemed like they just got cool with each other and, and it showed that night. Yes. You know, and it yeah. really showed that night. Like the locks, they know they knew their verses. They knew right. each other verses. Shoot, they knew Dipset's verses. They, they knew was Dipset's vibing off each other. When one was talking shit. The other one knew exactly what type of like action to do in the background to make that shit hit harder. Like they was just yeah. in sync. Like they was in tune with each other. Like they knew the lyrics. They got. They had one lyric where they was in the zone, bro. Oh, uh, I forgot who said it. Well, I think it was Jada or somewhere. I know dudes that went to jail to get their teeth fixed, and they all pointed at Jewel. <laughs> they were bullying them the whole night, man. Bull- well, bullying them the whole night. Well. Bullying them. But Jules kind of, I feel like Jules been set. Jules was setting his own self up the whole night, for real, for real. Like, what he, the fuck did he have on? Yeah. Dropped the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he was. He looked like the, he looked like the homeless dude. And <laughs> Real, I feel. Then when he finally took Put it off, I was like, "Oh, man. you should have been. You should did that in the beginning, pretty much. You should took that off." Yeah, he came out there looking like a straight clown, like like he he looked like he just got out of jail. I know he just got out of jail, but he looked like he was put in the jail, yeah. two thousand three, and then and just came out. Indeed, indeed. He was so happy to be on. He was so happy. He was over. He was. He was happy for they played that dip set after that. He was like, Yeah, I'm back, y'all. You know what songs we doing? What songs we doing? All right, bet I'm gonna put on all this shit from all the videos. Y'all ever notice that every time it was his verse, though, it was always like the record was saying one thing and he was saying something completely different. Yeah. That's like nigga, what verse are you on? After um, after fuck you. At the um, locks play, first you, are you on? They they play we ready, we ready, we ready, and they were screaming out we all ready. ready. Well, Jules Jules was Jules wasn't ready, or even was too ready, because he was like he was like four bars ahead of the verse. Exactly. Away. Yes. Okay. I wonder on the word. And then shit. then it messed them all up because he could have kept just saying the whole verse. Like I was thinking myself, if I messed up like that, I was right. just kept saying the verse or whatever but that show and prove how much um it's better to just know your verses or whatever and practice on jones exactly. and have performance track don't have the real track right the other thing <clears throat> the other thing uh jada kiss said the fight was fixed it was and i'm gonna tell you why i'm gonna tell you why it was fixed first of all dipset music was made in the mixtape era and the mixtape era they didn't really care so much about mixing and mastering uh, so yep, yep, yep. a lot of those tracks are rough or whatever if you if you um before like <clears throat> title and spotify even on title and spotify and those and those jumps, if you were to pick up some of them songs they mm-hmm. ain't gonna sound as crisp as right, maybe right, today's right. sounds you know what i'm saying so like, um, and a lot of them, they were just pushing them out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those. That is different than the locks. The locks, everything they've recorded, even their mixtape stuff, is pristine and pressed to be on the radio because they were under Bad Boy. Then they were under Rough Riders. They always had, like, a backing. Now, you can say yeah. that about Dipset, but they started off in the area. In the in the era, I mean, not the area, the era where everything was mixed and mastered. Not to that's real. You know what I'm saying? So Jada Kiss can come out and just say a freestyle from 2002 or whatever, and it sounds clear. And really, that's not even part of it because all he did, all Tech did, was play the instrumental. He just remembered his freestyle. And he knew yeah. that the lines in that freestyle were killed. I don't care who shot you, because they didn't kill you. You say that the right way. Yeah. Over who shot you? Yeah. In New York. That you know what I'm saying? The first four blinds. You know that's what I'm real. saying? No, nah, that's real. 
like he had the yeah. perfect timing. He like that's what that I said. shit too, yo. He bodied that bodied shit, it. boy. He bodied it. And he put his body bag in a body bag. You he, he he slipped up for a second, but you didn't care because he caught it right then and there. And you yeah. also didn't care because these niggas is playing the words. So you don't care about the dude slipping up second if he's killing the rest of it. You That's know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I still say somebody need to make a gift of this, like the the moving um memes or whatever that when he ended the song and he said the 40 is jet black and he slammed the mic on the ground. He didn't drop the mic. He slammed that jump on the ground. Like, fuck that was, this piece that's of machinery. It. That was Good it. Night. Right in and there. They won. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. That that was it. As soon as he pulled his Randy it, Watson moves. That that was it. Why they was not yeah. winning after that, no matter what they do. And Cam came back in with the right song after that, like the Get 'Em Girl, whatever. It, it, I, the way it came up, I felt like yeah, that was kind of perfect for it. But and I feel like after not enough. it wasn't enough, as Jada said. And I feel like Jada, him saying that freestyle, mm-hmm. it amped up the energy. Because if you notice, after that, even on Dipset side, they straightened up. They got, you know what I'm saying, came, right. camp came out or whatever. You know, Jada said he was going to sit on that beach chair for a minute or whatever, but Cam came out. They amped the energy up, and it made it a better show pretty That's much. Real. <laughs> pretty much. But if you were MC, every, if you, like, really put his rap stuff, and you, you know, you really, you know, that is your – crown and achievement to be like an MC. that's right. this is the type of shit you love like this is no, right. everybody wants a jada kiss moment anybody i don't care if they say i'm not a rapper or whatever or uh, uh i'm a hustler i'm not a rapper they say all the little tropes that sound cool or whatever they right. want a jada kiss moment because they still indeed rapping. indeed they still rapping that's big facts and that's not only facts. that they not only that, they feel they the only reason why they rap it is they feel like every time they do something, they, they it should be a Jada Kiss moment. But that's real. Or whatever. But it's big facts, bro. I can't argue with you there. You're right. That this, like I said, this is gonna be one of the moments where like they're gonna make a documentary about it. I remember this. where I was when it all happened. I just finished I just finished recording the podcast. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and I witnessed a body. <laughs> a body bag. A body bag. Like, you you got to know your enemy or whatever. Big facts. And anytime you're being too cool when you're a rapper, right. it's not gonna, you're going to look trash. Indeed. Anytime a rapper tries to be too cool, you're going to look trash. Now, mind you, I'm not dissing camp. Cam is one of my favorite rappers of all time, or whatever. Right. Even, like, even I feel like when he do the Oopa the Dupiter or whatever, he's still lyrical when he's doing it. It just sounds. I get computers Putin. Putin. That was that was funny because Jada <laughs> Jada just came in. Oh, you Putin! And by the way, man, fuck you, Putin. Hey, man, anytime you want to see them hands, Putin. Putin. <laughs> Putin. I told you what I told you what my uh told you what my son did. Cam was ahead of his time. He said he got computers Putin. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't know if that was it. <laughs> I know that ain't what it was, but <laughs> but look, man, y'all can't be too cool as a rapper and you're at a battle and you're at a battle with killers. Cause these are killers. It's, t- it's time, it's time to get into full MC mode and go at these niggas, not try to be swagged out. This ain't the swaggy mm-hmm. type of vibe. No, no. Cam, we didn't need cool cam. We that's one of the reasons why dip set at them here so hard. Cause they started getting the niggas' faces a little more like they was getting to like, all right. Yeah. Like that's the bag y'all should have been in from Joe. <clears throat> no, when Jules said <laughs> one more time for these three niggas for coming, these three stupid niggas for coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, all right, Jules. All right, Jules. You still lost, but that shit was funny. Right. <laughs> that shit was funny. But, man, yo, Jules, man, he just shouldn't have dropped the ball in the beginning or whatever. Like, 
like on top of them looking like they came out late or whatever and they won't take them stuff serious and then you stumble the ball with the lyrics or whatever man like, bro after that the performance that, like Faye said that killed everything oh and put freaky zika on a leash somewhere like, like he hopping around. Man, over, you can't hear that man coming out there like one of them American bullets. Shout out Lucas Oliver. Mm -hmm. Damn oh, bullet, man. Bullet. man, man, put him like, like he hopping around all over the place on songs you shouldn't be hopping around on. I mean, that that's 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 him, man. That's that that's has been him man. since we we since he I mean, came out. Yeah, freaky. Yeah, that's cool and all, but yeah, man, not no, against killers. Yeah. You don't bring your hype man around killers. Well, Sheik, even like Sheik come out looking like a bodyguard anytime I seen him, pretty much. Pretty much. Yep, eat a muscle. Uh, I didn't know, um, I didn't know Sheik was that tall until that one time I saw him and um Sheik and Styles in person at like one of the local clubs. I was like, I didn't know this nigga was this tall. This nigga's like this, this nigga's like six, seven. I'm on my tippy toes and I'm still looking, looking up to him, man. And um, peace up the styles because he did pass me a blunt that on in the VIP. I felt that was one of my crowning achievements in my life. Well, all right, <laughs> that was random. <laughs> oh, I, I know, I know, but it's a locks moment. Everybody got their locks moments. That's wild. Wow. <laughs> so I don't want to say my locks moment, but Amen. yeah, man. Um, yeah, Freak Zeke was acting the acting the goddamn fool. Man, but <laughs> but um, but one good thing, uh, uh, well, they are all they all are going on tour with state property and everything, yes. and yes, I just tour. I still like the camaraderie at the end of the day because yeah, like, I like the fact they've been putting out videos together since then and all like just to, like show like mm -hmm. this is how you do it. We battled each other, we was going hard, but like it's all love. Even you know Cam kicked the style, they can they did a video together talking about it. Like mm -hmm. I like the energy, man. It's real good energy. And then Andy said, um, Styles was saying, um, I think it was either Chico Styles. They said Cam business was on point. He was like, the locks need this amount of money, this amount of money. Like he was, he was actually him and Jim was putting a um they fit in when he come to the business part of it. So right on. Like I like I like that that it they showing like because you know New York got a history of just everybody beefing with each other and that was no, pretty much the, that was the pretty much the downfall of like new york in general just yes or, or whatever like it's a it's a it's a debate like between 50 and ebro and 50 i think 50 say ebro is the reason why new york rap ain't prevailing in new york at least in new york at least and then Ebro, I think Ebro saying, well, you got everybody beefing with each other. And I feel like it's both y'all pretty much. Right. Both of y'all like like new New York rap don't sound like New York rap to me. It sounds like drill. You know what I'm saying? Like right. pop smoke sounds like drill to me, which it really is or whatever. Like even ASAP Rocky or whatever don't. And ASAP Ferg and ASAP the ASAP crew, they don't sound like you had to tell me they were from New York or whatever when I first listened to their music or whatever. Because a lot of that stuff they were doing chop and screw Houston stuff, pretty much. So like a lot of it now is not as prevalent or whatever as I mean, and a, a lot of stuff might might be dated according to style, um, in general. That's right. That's right. And, but at the same time, it's still like West Coast is still making music, and they West and they sound like West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's true. Um, down South is always going to sound down South, but the problem is everybody sounds down South. That's that's the only thing about it. Everything sounds like it's down South or whatever, or whatever, and. Right. It, I, I feel like this is a good step for like New York to have their little, they have their presence again or whatever. Because they created they all They definitely shining right now. I hope they capitalize on it and actually do something with it. Mm, yeah. For sure. Me too. For and sure. Whatever. But yeah, that was, uh, that was the good. The set, man. And the fuckery and the locks 
And the fuckery that was Dipset. God bless him. Don't, don't, I'm still banging don't, don't. Dipset music. Be, oh, all day, all day. Every but day. yeah, we we still banging the locks too. And matter of fact, Jay, um, they said Jada Kiss streams went up two hundred percent as they I'm should. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. They should. When we After get a performance the- like that, you deserve all the flowers you get, man. For yeah, sure. Right. Exactly. So the locks. 